people always ask me if it's like uh, pressurizing, you know, if it's a lot of, you know, heritage you have to deal with. But me personally, I think it's like, uh, as I'm also like a creative person, I study film, it's uh, quite a motivation. And uh, I think it's, you know, of course, very inspiring, but also like uh, the themes he deals with are still very, you know, present in our world. And therefore, I think it's something you can look up to, you know. What I personally like about it is that it's very, uh, you know, it's very strong, it's very honest, it's very direct, you know, it's, uh, you know, violence and war and, you know, what he saw and he was all about, you know, uh, being a witness and bringing your message to the world across, just not altering anything, just expressing your views and what you see. So, um, I think I like the honesty. I draw a little, yeah, yeah since I'm young. And, uh, I go to film school now, so that's also a little creative work. When I was really very young, I asked my father if he liked his job, you know, sort of naive. And he said, you know, he, if you look at his work, he does everything so detailed. And he does, you know, that uh, of course he did. And I also grew up like uh, close to where my father grew up at the lake um, in the south of Germany. And it's, it's, a, very, it's a very calm area and it's... Uh, Nice to think that you know this man who has ex went through all this cruelty and war, and see saw these terrible things. Then at the end of his life, you know, had a family and children, and could uh, also have like a normal life, a peaceful life. I don't, I'm not sure if I can remember anything concrete he told me right now. I don't know. That's up to them. It's about you know reflecting all this. You know, he has these contradictions in his work. You know. Violence and Passion, this exhibition is called. It's quite suits it quite well, I think, because uh, he got to saw all these, you know, extremes of human nature very closely in war and, you know, also the, the society of the 20s, you know. Uh, so I think what young people can get away from it, we were live like, you know, I think in a very prosperous period, in a rather peaceful period, although, you know, in Mexico you have a lot of violence, I understand. Um, I think what young people can get away from it is that you have these extremes in human nature and you have to be aware of them and maybe this helps people understand this and, and deal with it to reflect on themselves and their actions, hopefully. That painting? Uh, so you can see like back there the one with Christophorus where he's carrying Jesus Christ. Obviously that's you know, a reference to that. and. Uh, he made this painting also where, like, where I live at the lake when after my father was born. So I can't exactly tell you what the connection is, what he thought, what his, the importance for him was. But I think uh, when he finally had kids, it did change him a lot because he was a very, you know, sort of violent man, grim man. But then when he had a family, I think he he became more peaceful, more calm. So maybe it's. Uh, just represents him being a father. So I think it's a nice picture. It shows the you know generational progression. 